Hey, what's going on, Arch Jars? Welcome back to the channel. I've been making a lot of progress on all the projects we have going on around here. Really excited to get them done and show them to you guys. But uh, this pile over here of stuff that I have to review keeps growing and growing, which is a good problem to have. Uh, but let me just show you really quick. I got my Tekken Electronics in for the Phoenix. Really excited about that. From Tamiya, I got the Terrell in, that six-wheeler. That's going to be so cool to drive. Can't wait to show you that and a mud mat. It's like a $90 kit. There was just something about it, how to get it. And we also got the Rock Hobby Mogrich in. That looks pretty cool. But I still also have all of these Jetco tires here and I keep stepping over them and I'm kind of motivated to throw them on a car because I actually want to go drive something. I want to go drive the X-Max again. If you guys remember, I blew out the tire on that. Let me show you, it's over here. Check that out. Foam is still sticking out of the side of the thing, but um, I think it's a sign. I think it's a sign to throw on these new Tomahawks from Jetco. Let's take a closer look at these things. They're pretty cool looking tires. To me, these look like an all-terrain type of tread, maybe more for street use and maybe light gravel and stuff like that. But I think you can get some dirt uh, action in and probably run it around in the grass as well. I kind of like these sledgehammer tires for the really loamy stuff. It makes it a lot more fun. A little edgy, but uh, I like shredding dirt with the large lugs. But these look like they're gonna do pretty well. They have different compounds. So these are the medium soft and they actually feel a little grippy. They have a really, really firm insert on the inside and they're belted as well. I know a lot of people are starting to look for belted tire options and this is one to certainly check out. But these are, uh, this right here is how they come. They come in this nice Ziploc bag. And I want to show you up top here, it's got USA rubber on there. So uh, that, I like that. Uh, I also like that they have, it appears to be Loctite glue. It's got a Loctite Pass logo on it. And these tires really look like they're glued up. I mean, look at that nice edge on there. The glue bead around the ring. And uh, let me flip it over here so you can see the back side of the wheel. Good looking wheel, a lot of bracing on the inside here. Uh, not too much of a flare on the spoke uh, on the back side. And I'd probably like to see a little bit more. I think you could probably get some good clearance, uh, you know, if they add a little bit more and it, that would add a little bit more strength to the wheel, but it does feel like a strong wheel. The hexes are separate from it. So these here are for the X-Max and uh, they also have hexes to go onto the DBXLE. In fact, I started putting a set together over here. So these at some point are gonna go on this DBXLE. And uh, like I said, if you need to, you could go and swap out the hexes. But what I really need to show you is the back side of these hexes. Uh, you probably already saw it when I was showing you the back side of the wheel before. No, you didn't. Here's a, here's a wheel that hasn't been assembled yet. So they have these little tabs actually that lock in on the adapter here. So it doesn't just rely on the screws to hold it in place and maybe the screw pulls out or twists. It's also got these little tabs to help lock everything in. Really like the way that looks, but uh, they have these larger tires available in all different types of uh, styles. And uh, this one here really looked like it was gonna be good. So that's why I grabbed this style. And uh, now we just gotta throw these on and see how they work. So I'm gonna finish mounting these up and uh, we'll go outside and start shredding with the X-Max. Well, I said in one of my other videos, I have been dealing with a lot of rain and here I am. I just got to the parking lot where I'm gonna test the X-Max with the Tomahawk tires and it's starting to rain again. But I don't care, I'll deal with the cleanup later. We gotta try these things out and see how they grip. Okay, take one last look at them. That's the last time they're gonna be clean. Ready, let's go. <laughs> Love this truck. We'll slide around the corner there. Oh, a little loose in this parking lot. But I don't know, I might like it. A little rear end drift, that's cool. Nice. I can control that. Let's go over the jump. Yeah. Not a lot of expansion, obviously, because they're belted tires. So, got a lot of the tire contact patch on the ground and it's working. All right, let's nail this jump. Gotta take it easy this way. My truck's over here. <laughs> truck is just so much fun. Let's nail it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, love it. All right. Now I'm getting worked up. Gotta get some more air. Let's 
still got some control over it. A little correction from the TSM. I still have some dialed in. Let's get some more air off this thing now. <laughs> With belted tires, sometimes you lose a little bit of uh, that tire control that helps correct it. But it seems pretty good. Yeah, we're a little loose here. I want to go try these in a parking lot. A paved parking lot. Cross that up. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go switch up and uh, go try out a paved parking lot. All right, let's see how we do on the asphalt. Wheelies for days, it looks like. Some grip in the corner. Good. Not bad. These things... These things got some grip. We got stability from the belts. Gotta hit the brakes right corners and you're good to go. You lose a little of that top end because they're not growing, but we're stable. Look at this. We got control. Need more steering though with that wide arm kit. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep playing and then I'll meet you back at the studio to wrap this thing up. All right, so I got a couple runs in on the Tomahawk tires. I went to that dirt lot and then wound up going over to a paved parking lot, then actually went back to the dirt lot, ran a whole other set of batteries through it, and uh, that's when it finally started to rain. So I cut things short, but uh, got a good feel for the tires. As you guys saw, there is plenty of traction on asphalt. There's a large lug uh, surface on here, and so it just had plenty of grip, so much grip that uh, the I had steering problems again. I still haven't changed out the servo in the X-Max, uh, but back in the dirt parking lot, it was a little loose in the rear, a little, maybe a little bit of a setup issue, but uh, you know, with that large lug pattern, you're not getting full traction. Uh, the thing to keep in mind here is these weigh more. Uh, I threw them on the scale and they weigh about eight ounces each more than a stock tire. So you add all that up, that's an extra pound on the rear, an extra pound on the front. So you gotta keep in mind, it's kind of gonna wreak a little bit of havoc on your suspension components and even your electronics. So make sure you watch your temperatures with it. But I really like them, they seem to hook up well. Uh, definitely very predictable, and that's what you get out of a belted tire. So you know, if you're looking for a set of tires for your X-Max or another fifth scale vehicle, definitely check out these tires from Jetco. Uh, they're available from HobbyRecreationProducts.com. Uh, they're not listed there yet, but they should be listed there soon. But definitely go over there and check out all the other Jetco tires that they have to offer, all the different patterns. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this company. Pretty interesting, right? Again, I'll have links in the video description. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.